The Butterfly Effect is a 2004 movie starring Ashton Kutcher. It is a good movie, but it is a really depressing movie, at least in my opinion. I remember watching this movie over 10 years ago and I remembered the ending and I remember that it was kind of a depressing movie but I had to see it again. And the movie begins uh, with a seven-year-old boy, you know, grows out up to be Aston Kutcher and he and this boy has blackouts that he can't remember what happened and the mother takes him to the doctor and the doctor suggests that he would write journals so maybe that would help his memory. His father is in a mental hospital and his grandfather died in a mental hospital and so his mother uh, fears that Aston Kutcher's character has the same, same mental problems. We spent about maybe 15 minutes of the in the beginning of the movie when he's seven years old and there's a time jump of six years I think and some stuff happens there bad things and again he blacks out then we have another time jump when he's in college and he's had seven years without a blackout and when he starts to read his journals again uh, he can go back to those blackouts that happened in the past and he tries to fix things that went wrong. There are basically four main characters, the Aston Kutcher character, a girl uh, and two boys. Uh, a girl and a, one of the boys is brother and sister and basically whatever Aston Kutcher does, one of those three at least will have a shitty life. And if one of those three don't have a shitty life, it's either Aston Kutcher or his mother. I think the premise for this movie is excellent because I've many times thought to myself, what if I would have done that instead of doing this in my during my lifetime? So it is really interesting. And it might make you also think about what if things about your own life. But it is <laughs> a depressing movie with somewhat of a happy ending, but still. And every time he travels back in time, there are very different outcomes. So uh, it's very different outcomes for the characters in the movie, so it's not like there are some minor differences, it's really, really different outcomes. It's really hard to talk about this movie without spoiling it, so I'm just gonna give my rating and then I'm gonna spoil, <laughs> talk spoilers. Uh, even though it's depressing, like I've said many times, I would say it's a 3 out of 5 movie, it's a, it's, it, it is pretty good. Worth a watch if you haven't seen it already. It's it turns 12, 16 years old this year. This movie. So, but now the spoilers. If you have seen The Dark Knight Rises, you might remember a scene where Alfred, early on in the movie, said that when Bruce Wayne was gone for seven years, he took a vacation and he went to this cafe in Italy or somewhere. And he, had his, and he had this fantasy of him seeing with a wife, maybe some kids and he wouldn't say anything to him and he wouldn't say, Alfred wouldn't say anything to Bruce and they would just have a, you know, a moment that Alfred knows that he's okay and this movie, it spoils the ending pretty early on in the movie when Aston Kutcher is in college he and his mother go to this fortune teller and when the fortune teller starts to read uh, Aston Kutcher's poem she can see that he has no lifeline and that he shouldn't exist so the movie ends with Aston Kutcher coming back to his birth or when, he's, when 
his mother is in labor and he strangles himself with the belly cord or what it's called in English. It was selfless of him to go and kill himself even though he wasn't never meant to be like the fortune teller said. I don't know if I could go and kill myself. Even if it meant that people in my life would have a better life. And when I talk about it has a happy ending, you see what happens to the kids in the neighborhood, to those three kids. And all of them has a happy ending, which is good, of course. But I would say that that kind of brings the movie down a little bit in the sense that this Action Kutcher's character had such an influence of what happens to these three people plus his mother that it's kind of unfair if you think about it. And it's not all Aston's fault. The kids, the brother and sister, the sister chose to live with her father instead of living with her mother. So it's not really his fault. And this movie shows that one moment in your life, if it goes different, then you basically become a whole different person. And sure, it can happen in real life. For example, if you have a, if you are in a car crash and you, you know, are crippled waist down, something like that. Sure, you you probably gonna be a different person. But maybe they took this to real extremes. And I think that in real life it would be not just one moment, but several moments in their lifetime. And I would like to think that the differences wouldn't be so extreme. But anyway, thanks for watching and bye.